to November I'm going through the letters that I send her And thinking about the moment that I met her Well, I'll be back in due time, in due time What is going on, y'all? We are out here in beautiful Virginia Beach. It's a little nice little chilly morning, and we're going fishing. We're, uh, honestly, I'm not completely positive what we're gonna get into today. It's the tail end of the Kobe season out here, and it is the beginning of like the red drum and stripers. And honestly, we may not catch any of them. We may just end up fishing for some flounder. We may end up, you know, just screwing around, catching whatever whatever swims but it's gonna be a great day I'm here with my buddy Jeff and my buddy Kyle and we're going out on Kyle's boat over here so we're going to get out there and get on them I'll see you guys out on the water catch up in a sec All right, guys, we just made it out on the water. We're here with my buddy, Jeff. What's up? How you doing? Jeff actually has a YouTube channel. What was the name of that YouTube channel, man? One Fish, Two Fish. One Fish, Two Fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the description. You guys should go ahead and check that out if you have some free time. Be right in the description down below. But Jeff, what are we gonna be doing today? Today, we're gonna uh, just do some good old Chesapeake Bay fishing. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna try for cobia, but if we don't see any cobia, um, then hopefully we can get on some reds, uh, we're gonna try and get on some uh, flounder, just kind of your usual Chesapeake Bay suspects, uh, but we got Ryan out here who's kind of knowledgeable on the Cobia game, so he's gonna try and show us a thing or two. So uh, yeah, we can get up on it, see what we can catch. Sounds good. We're gonna go ahead and flip over from the DSLR to the GoPro, so stay tuned. Hopefully we're hooked up in that next clip. See you guys in that next one. Fish on. Flounder. Target species. Target species. <laughs> Look at that. He's a little guy, but we're on the board. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's too small, right? Way too small. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty, though. Yeah. Some flounder. Yeah, that's how you get cool freaking thumbnails, just like all oh, the way right. up. Yeah. yeah. I love this part, this little sandy bottom right on the corner. Deep water. Nice. There you go. Two in a row. I think that is a keeper. You let him eat it for a second, huh? I got yeah. a stick right here. How big do they got to be? Um, 17. Dude, and you know what's sad? Mm. My battery died on my GoPro. Already? Well, I got a second one. Oh, okay. But I was like, I'm just going to keep fishing because I mm. love this. Yeah. Spot. That's pretty cool. No, it's on this one. He's a good one. Kyle, I think this is a keeper. Get a measurement. Take All right. It. All right, so it is pretty darn rough conditions today. It's really uh, limited in what we're, we can do out here on the, is this considered Chesapeake Bay? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So out on Chesapeake Bay, kind of limited in what we can do in this bay boat. Um, water's a little churned up. It's been kind of slow. Jeff's caught two flounder. I've caught some freaking pinfish looking thing, but we're not all sure what it is, but it's going to be used as bait. And yeah, we'll see what we're doing. Hopefully we can get into something else uh, pretty interesting. Maybe I can learn how to fish here in a second, but uh, we'll see what we can get going. Hopefully it turns on this afternoon.
All right, y'all, so check this out. We're fishing next to the Kipta Peaks, if I say that right, concrete fleet. This is nine of 24 concrete ships used to ferry troops in World War II, like 1940s time. Then they were brought to Chesapeake, used as ferries to ferry from island to island until they were retired in 1964 after um, a uh, tunnel was built to get to island to island. Then they were brought here, and now they're a pretty awesome fishing structure. Check these out. Look at that. It's all open up in there. Like I was saying, this is uh, so this is nine of the original 24 of in, in existence. Legitimately, this is a con this is concrete, the same concrete used in the foundations of your own house, and it floats. It floated. It buried troops. They're over 100 feet long. It's actually pretty freaking amazing what can be done, like what what humans have done in the past. And uh, yeah, it's an awesome little fishing structure. We're gonna hopefully get on some more fish here in a minute, and uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Not a whole lot going on right now, guys. So I'm gonna play with some worms and I'm gonna catch me some croakers because any fish is better than no fish. Throw this guy on here. These things are freaking nasty looking. They'll bite you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they will. No way. Yeah, they will. Really? Kyle, won't they? What the hell? I don't want to get bit got, by like little like teeth. Up. Oh yeah, he does. That thing's freaking trying to eat me right now. Yeah. <laughs> you better watch out, boy. God, things are ferocious. <laughs> We're about to be in the meat here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh man! Oh, he's smoking. Jesus! He's smoking croaker. I don't know what this is. Oh god! Am I filming? Yes, I'm filming. Oh man! It honestly might be. Gotta go easy. <laughs> Is it really? I think it might be. Flounder? That's a good for dinner too. Oh, Mega Croaker! <laughs> Holy crap, dude! Kyle, you touched Look at that thing. Yeah. There are some smoke. That thing's a freaking good. drum. That's good, dude. Look at the size of that That's croaker. Massive. The thing's. I caught redfish smaller than this. Yes, sir. You can okay, just, okay. You can just I legitimately that. caught redfish smaller than this croaker. Gah! Well, I hope you didn't want that hook. <laughs> Should they bend it? It's all the way down the gullet. Oh, dude, I got plenty more where that came from. All right. Come on. He was talking about it. He was talking about it. Can this be Kyle's first? I think it is. Legit flounder catch. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's get the dual. Oh! oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Look That's at this size. The biggest toad World ever record ever toadfish. Ever. When, you, when you set it into that. <laughs> Look at that nasty freaking thing. <laughs> freaking nasty. If Mondays were a fish. <laughs> I hate that guy, man. God. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh! <laughs> God, I'm on! I don't know if he's still on there. Oh, he's still on there. Oh, dude, great. Yes, in the boat for bait. Little grunt. Little grunt action. Look, what is here's that? the thing. I got plenty of shark <laughs> equipment, you know, and we just need to, we need to get more lines in the water is what I'm saying. What is that thing? It's a oh, grunt. Right. We catch no. a ton of those in Florida. Dude. Yeah, there's, there's like a million and one different species of them in Florida. 
Oh! oh you're good. He's still alive. Well. Good enough. For you to get a good video, so you can fucking oh, absolutely. The game fish, no one knows about. But, the, uh, the invasive species, no one is talking about. Yeah, right. Sure. They just fucking opened them up up the old way for uh for boat fishing. Yeah. We're only allowed to shoot in Virginia like freshwater. You're only allowed to shoot. I don't even know if you can shoot. You can't shoot gar. And you can shoot common car. Another one. GoPro just died, but Jeff just caught a cute little flounder. <laughs> oh, come on now, hang on. Broke, his, broke his line as soon as he pulled it in the boat. He's probably short, but he's a beaut. He does look good, actually. Yeah, it looks pretty. Yeah, look out. Get a close up. Hooked up. Hooked up. Double up, double up. Don't be a toadfish. That's probably a toadfish. Targeted fishing. Nice. Oh, croaker. <laughs> That's a good one. Croaker smoker on a bucktail. I hate the bucktail, huh? Nice. They do have a little thing, don't they? Dang. <laughs> How pretty they are. I bet you he's probably like only four. Yeah. Did you see a red light blinking? What do we got? It's a shark. Shark. Yeah, bring him up on the boat. Hell no. <laughs> Guy. In your house. I don't even know how this thing works. I think it's still recording. Here, I'll there's it. a red light blinking. It's still recording. There it is. All right, there we go. There we go. What kind of shark is that? It's a. It's a black tip. The sandbars have a bigger yeah. dorsal fin. It's a baby black tip. Nice. Let's so get him. Unless you're doing a catch. Oh no no, we ain't gonna do that. You just kind of snag the line yeah, with Yeah, no, so you bring it underneath the hook and it turns the hook underneath. So you, you're trying to pull the line opposite way you're pulling the hook. Right. All right, y'all, that is the end of the day. It was definitely uh, unexpected, kind of what we were going to be doing and what everything was going to be like, but it was an awesome experience. We got to see some cool sights, got to catch a couple fish and uh, fish with uh, my two good buddies. It was, uh, a lot better than I've been doing lately. So I appreciate you guys all for watching the end of the video. Don't worry, there is plenty more to come. I'll see you guys in that next video.